Well then, welcome back. <laughs> Good to know you're uh, still watching. Um, let's uh, take a look at what we want to talk about mm. now. Um, let's begin by asking, can you imagine being owed 42 billion naira? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> uh, mule, uh. that's a lot of money. <laughs> there, is, there, is, uh, there is no two ways about it. I can't even wrap my head around it, not to talk of uh, somebody owing me. Well, that is the amount of money that the Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators of Nigeria, Alton, says that commercial banks in Nigeria owe it. The association had announced that it would suspend the bank's unstructured supplementary service data, that's USSD services. Well, Alton said uh, it had a partnership, though, with the financial services uh, providers on bearing the cost of USSD access by end users, you know, which is like you and I. But the arrangement could not continue following the issuance of the USSD pricing determination by the Nigerian Communications Commission, which is the NCC. However, the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, that's Dr. Isa Pantami, has urged telecoms companies to put a hold on their planned withdrawal of USSD services. The minister said he is out to ensure an amicable solution mm. uh, to the dispute, adding that he has called for a meeting of all stakeholders to determine the status of the USSD financial services. To discuss this, we have joining us a financial analyst and founder of Awaba, Tunji Andrews. Welcome to the show. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. The association initially had agreed to be at the cost of the USSD service, mm. but that has now changed. Why do you think this is the case? Um, so th there are many reasons to it. Um, at the beginning, you know, it's it's always like, you know, business as usual because you, you don't necessarily see how much the other person is going to be making from the USSD service. Uh, but after a couple of years and you continue to see um, bank statements and see how much uh, bank, bank um, financial reports and you get to see how much they make from such services, the question needs to be asked, why are we giving this for free? Mm. Um, you know, and, and there's a problem around, you know, giving that for free because banks are making some significant income from um, USSD charges. And, and it, it can be an issue if um, at the end of the day, the person who is providing it to the banks is not making any money from it. Well, the, the flip side, just to, I mean, the USSD service is not free. I don't quite get the part that you're saying is free. They are making it free. So every time you use it, you are charged. Why are the banks not paying the telcos? <laughs> um, at the time, so here's the thing, right? So you know the way it works, where at the beginning, it looked like in... I'm guessing that at the beginning, it looked more towards the conf conversation of, oh, this is a national service. Uh, mm. uh, it, it will make services better for everybody. You know, we're just trying to improve Nigeria. It's not yeah. like we're trying to make money, you know. And then, you know, a couple of years down the line, you see their bank uh, financial report. And you say, ah, they are really making money. Why are they not giving us out of it? So... <laughs> Um, it is Nigeria. Um, I, I'm not sure they entirely thought it true at the beginning, but the banks should pay. What the banks are now trying to say is that they will pass on those costs to customers, which of course ah. will not work. Um, <laughs> yeah, what yeah, that you is, say, ah. 42 billion. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> that, is what, that is of course what is costing um, some of the back and forth. And especially where the, the minister is coming into it, because, of course, the banks are saying, you know, they've been squeezed from so many places that they cannot be squeezed even further uh, to be able to do this. So it's, it's a small problem. Well, Tunji, OK, uh, we heard that, you know, there was a meeting that called yesterday for the NCC and even the um, uh, communications minister himself. Uh, do you think we'll find a middle ground uh, going forward after this? Yeah, we will find a middle ground. The banks should pay. I mean, there's no reason. There is no absolute reason in the world they shouldn't pay. Mm. Because right now, there is a situation whereby the banks, if you try to deactivate your USSD services as uh, receiving alerts, mm. you are then um, mandated to sign some document uh, which, in, um, you know, uh, releases the bank from some sort of uh, questions where if there's fraud. So it's like they're trying to say that 
the USSD supposedly makes your bank account more uh, safer, quote unquote. Mm. And and the real issue about that is, of course, there's a reason to this because I mean, if you continue to use the USSD service, you continue to pay them uh, whatever the charges you you get to pay them every single time you get to use uh, have the USSD charges. And of course, they make it a bit cumbersome. So you get maybe say you transfer ten thousand naira, then you get the USSD for. The 10,000 naira, then you get the USSD for the additional charges, maybe 10 naira or whatever it is. So you get two USSD, uh, um, two text messages for one particular, uh, uh, um, what, what's, what's the word now? What, one particular um, transaction. Transaction. Uh, and um, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a long scenario. Also, you want to look at the fact that there's one particular bank who has been making a massive killing from its ussd service a massive killing from its ussd service i I don't think we should name the particular bank but i think that's the bank that is creating the problem Mm. um they're making so much money from their ussd service everybody probably knows i'm I'm going to ask you so many more questions but we're out of time on the segment of the yeah. show. But thank you very much for joining yeah. us yeah, and explaining uh, things. Yeah, just to ex- explain more in terms of, you know, USSD before we go forward, before people, uh, you know, <laughs> it's all about unstructured supplementary service data, which is USSD, allows users without a smartphone or data internet connection to use mobile banking through, you know, the hash, uh, star 99 hash code and uh, based on mobile banking uh, can be used to fund transfers, checking account balance, generating bank statements, amongst others. All right. So thank you very much, uh, Tunji Andrews, uh, for sticking with us once again. Always a regular right here on the Breakfast Program and for business. Yep. A uh, quick read that will do for us. We'll yes. come back. We've still got lots more. Yes, indeed, including sports and what's been on our timeline mm-hmm. lately. Um, I can't wait to have a sneak peek. You know? <laughs> Trust me, you want to see this one. It will warm your heart. And, you know, all those places you didn't even know is warm mm. will get warm. All Stay right. with us. Mm. <laughs>